Alright guys, this is going to be one of those well I'll be damn videos. Now this battery came out of a 2014 RAM with the Cummins dual battery system. This is one of the OEM batteries. One of them went bad, I replaced them both. This battery was still good so I kept it around the house just to use for miscellaneous stuff. But the reason I wanted to make this video in the first place is because I know some of you still have these batteries in use. And I've always thought they were maintenance free batteries. In fact, that's what I've always heard Mopar call them. But at, you actually can check the electrolyte level, the fluid level, water level in them. This whole cap comes off as opposed to usually what you'd see as individual caps or maybe three at a time. And I found that very interesting because those of you that are still running these batteries here, you might want to pop that off and check your fluid level. It'll probably extend the life of these batteries. These are not AGM batteries. Maybe the newer trucks have them, but these trucks didn't have them. Let's check this electrolyte and see what it looks like. Looks like my hydrometer is happy to see me this morning. Can't get enough in it. So as you can see, hopefully, that stuff is shot. In fact, it's pretty much neutralized, I guess. This thing was in my shop when it blew up. And you would think it would have made a hell of a mess, but it didn't. It didn't even etch the concrete, which was surprising to me. I threw some baking soda on it, and it didn't even fizz, you know, like you do when you're trying to neutralize acid. So. This stuff, this electrolyte is shot in this thing. I think the reason it might have blew up, because I'm, of course it's hard to tell, but I've got several of these. In fact, only two of them have a fluid level above the plates. So I suspect the reason it failed in the truck, or one of the reasons, was the electrolyte got down below the plates. When that happens, you can kiss that battery goodbye. That might have happened over the course of three years or whatever which is when they failed right under, right under three years and right over three years. It also speaks to the need to be careful when you're charging these things because you really never know what the hell is going to happen. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Until next time, adios.